I did a lot of crazy shit in my life. Like after getting um, kicked out the military, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of hard for me to find a job. You know, they do a background check and, and you know, a little cold come back and they'll, you know, be like, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Richardson, we can't hire you. But this one particular job, there was a job fair and whatnot. I go to this job fair and I actually get this job at a bank and this bank was out in Yonkers and whatnot. And I was in that bank for a minute. I was working in that bank for a couple of years and whatnot. But let me tell you how hard the devil worked. And if you let that motherfucker in, he will control everything, man. And the devil was over me at that time. The whole entire time I was at the bank working and whatnot, I'm thinking in my mind, how can I get some money out of here? But I'm not gonna make this a long video and tell you how I actually got the money out. That's I'll save that for another video. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna actually tell you how what sparked me to actually get an idea and actually doing this and whatnot, right? So like I said, I've been there for a couple years and I was working in a different branch. And this particular branch or rather within this particular bank it was inside of a, um uh, i think it was pathmark anyway it was inside of a supermarket and whatnot so it was like an in-store type of branch so in that particular branch i was able to do teller open accounts and i got my license by series 6 and 63 so i was able to sell life insurance and whatnot so i was selling life insurance to people opening accounts and things like that so this one lady comes in and she's doing wow transactions man like withdrawals multiple type withdrawals cash and checks deposits it's like she's doing wild shit, right? So I was able to handle it. You know what I mean? I was, I was, I'm, I, at the time I was good. However, I noticed that it clicked in my mind. I cashed her check. I did all her transactions, all her deposits, all her withdrawals, whatever she wanted to do. I gave it to her. But the only thing I didn't give her was her cashed check. And she didn't realize it because I guess the conversation was going on and me going back and forth with everything. And she left. So I quickly realized that, you know, I got to do something with this money right here because devil is inside of me. So I know for a fact that if you worked in a bank or any type of check cash place, any any place that you at a register, you have to prove or balance that register, right? So I knew that I was going to be over the amount her check was. Her check was 1038.15. So in order for my draws to balance with the register or the computer with the register, I had to take that 1038.15. So this was like midday, a little bit after lunch or some shit like that. So I, I squeezed that money into my sock. She had came back at the end of the day because I knew that this draw needed to balance if I was going to be able to get up out of here with this motherfucking money and the devil get you out of any situation that you work with this motherfucker in so me knowing that the the drawers have to balance with the register she comes back in and she's asking hey you never gave me the you know my my check and whatnot and i'm telling her with a straight face i gave you your money i'm you know i don't know what you're talking about oh you want to speak to the manager sure no problem there you go right here so the manager comes he balances like he goes through all my transactions for the day and he sees that the draw matches up with the you know the screen like he was like yo you know he must gave you the money the shit that you know it balances and whatever so she storms out and at that time i was like oh shit this shit is crazy right here so i felt super bad after i did that but it was soon gone because i took a cab home bought a couple bags of weed bought a bottle i told my niggas about the story and then we laughed it all hey and that started me taking more money from them but i ain't gonna get into all that because that took 10 years out of my life and ruined it completely so peace